All right, so we got season two, uh, first five episodes of The Whitest Kid You Know. Now, I don't know how to explain this properly because season two, they had moved from where they were before, which I think was Vice, mm -hmm. back when Vice had, had their own little network, I think. Yeah. And uh, they were there for a season, and for whatever reason, they moved to IFC, is what I remember. Like, somewhere they were explaining it on some document, like a little, like, in between, like, they were, like, promoting an IMC. Mm -hmm. So they would explain stuff, like, little, like, clips and stuff, like, little interviews with throughout their, like, uh, broadcasting on the channel. And uh, I don't know where I heard them talk about this, but uh, they get to IFC, and episode one drops, and it's, like, a fucking, like, it was, like, banger after banger after banger. Like, every skit in episode one of season two was, like, that was when I first actually, that was the first episode I caught. Now, because of that, that's what uh, just led me to my love for the show when it, when it was first in its run. And uh, thinking back, now that I have, like more memories uh, bubble up, I realized that I actually watched the entire series from season one to season five on IFC. When that, like back then we didn't have internet, or at least I didn't. I wasn't as like uh, technologically inclined. Like what? Click 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 on Google. When did this new season drop? <laughs> I just like I just lucked out. It was the same with South Park. I was just, I was just keep watching Comedy Central, and eventually they're like, "Oh, it's a new season in three months." I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> so it was like that for uh, IFC. I would just watch it constantly. And, you know, you had like uh, your little uh, TV guide on the screen, and you just like you know you mark your little timer. Uh, Set me for this uh, episode this day, or if you were lucky, you had the fucking DVR, you could record it. <laughs> Man, that shit was gold. Just it would record all your shows, <laughs> and. Uh, the first episode drops, and it is, they have an actual, like, I think they had an actual, like, uh, viral video, because Trevor Moore, he liked to do, like, comedy videos, mm -hmm. or no, no, comedy songs in the show. It was, like, he was the head writer of the series, of the whole series, and he liked to do these comedy uh, songs, like Weird Al, Weird Al and stuff, and he did what's called the uh, the Dinosaur Song, which is the, ro the first rap song about smoking weed with dinosaurs. I think I've actually seen that on YouTube somewhere. Yeah, you heard of it? Yeah, I think like, so. Like, I smoke a bowl tonight? Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> this is the one that broke, that popped out their uh, their name recognition higher. I don't even know that was them. Yeah. I smoke a joint tonight. I smoke a joint tonight. That's the song. It was really catchy. <laughs> me on me and all these dinosaurs smoke a bowl tonight. I'm, <laughs> I'm rolling bones tonight. I'm rolling bones. <laughs> it just, like, just goes on and on. And like that was like that was episode one, season two, like whatever. Like they put everything in season uh, season or episode one of se like every good for, like it just everyone was a banger. There was not a single skit that I didn't like, and I was like I, I had that's why I had so much trouble. I almost want to do all of them for just episode one of season two because they were all so good. So I, I guess I narrowed it down to like the like not the funniest. To, but to me, like the the, the most interesting, because mm -hmm. it's just a Trevor Moore's expressions in the the whole skit. So basically, in episode one, season two, uh, Trevor Moore is is playing opposite a, a woman. Like they had an actual woman, not one of the characters. One of the other guys dressed up as a woman, <laughs> which is like a consistent thing in the series. <laughs> and uh, they're they're it's on their first date. Uh, they're talking and they're trying to get them to know more about each other. So she's Trevor asked her to go first. And she starts saying all this random stuff, right? Just like, oh, she's a strong, independent woman. She doesn't like to play games, all this and that. She said, like, uh, I don't use tampons. I air dry. And that, 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 that face you made was the same face the driver was. <laughs> it, was it, it caught him. He was suddenly shocked. Not outward. Like, he had this subtle, like, where you, it's like the gears were turning in his head. Like, what the fuck did she say? What the say? And for the rest of the skit, right, it keeps cutting. She keeps talking, right? Because to her talking normal because back to him like and he's just like looking around like he's looking at her but like his face his smile is completely gone and he's like he's like trying to process what the fuck she <laughs> trying to process. yeah she air dries she doesn't use tam <laughs> and that was not even like the funniest one like the uh, off the bat uh, the first skit of the, uh, the the new episode of the season uh sam is or uh, trevor's waiting for sam uh to get out of to come out of the house and meet him up at the, on the side of the street, right? Sam gets there and his fucking nuts are hanging out of his fucking uh, t up, up, up out of his jeans, and he's like, "Oh, it must be these weird jeans." Like he's like, "What the fuck do the jeans have to do?" I was like, "I don't know, my boss." Like, and like it was IFC, so back then they were really they were uncensored, so it's just like a pair of balls just hanging out, <laughs> completely uncensored. <laughs> oh man, I missed that show. <laughs> There's no real way to get it back though. 
with Trevor being dead, you know, it's only four of them now. Yeah. So without Trevor, it's like he was like the actual like I feel like he was the main like the glue that held it together. Yeah, like he was the like the one like without him, like, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be like I'm sure it'd be great, mm -hmm. but not like the level that it was. Yeah. So we go to episode two, uh, season one, two. And it's, it's it, you can tell how dumb I am by the simplest thing bring me joy. It's just Sam walking down the street, right? Like he's walking, like the camera is on. I'm assuming it's on a trolley going back, and he's following the camera. But you know, you're not supposed to acknowledge the camera. So he's just walking down the park, having a good old day. And you see Darren running, fucking full hilt behind him. He gets up right next to him and punches him right in the fucking stomach as hard as he can. He's like, "What the fuck did you do that for?" And Darren's just like, "You can see me," and he fucking books it. That was the whole skit. That's it. He just fucking punched him in the stomach and ran. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so just so delightful. Plus, you can tell that uh, Sam put on a, a thicker jacket so he can take an actual punch to the stomach. <laughs> they probably put some cushioning there. It's because he fucking socked him in the fucking stomach. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, okay, so season uh, two, episode three. Uh, you We meet, uh, this is one of the recurring characters, actually. I think she had another skit, maybe two more. I think I, think I had just one more called Weird the Stripper, and it, it's Darren. Darren and, like, he had, like, the fake boobs on, too. So he's, like, imagine just Darren in, like, a boobs and, like, a fucking wig, and it's still Darren. <laughs> so it's uh, Timmy, Zach, and Trevor, and they're going to, uh, it's Timmy's birthday, and they're going to a strip club, to, you know, for his birthday. And uh, they, they settle in in this little spot to sit down. Trevor sits down, and Zach and Timmy sit down, and then Zach and Timmy get up to go get Timmy some drinks at the bar. And uh, the stripper that was there for a second uh, on the pole, she leaves. And then uh, Darren comes in. And uh, her, her her stripper name is Weird the Stripper. And it starts off normally, right? So uh, uh, Trevor's like, so what would you do for a dollar? And then she'll take her top off for a dollar. What do you do for two dollars? She'll, uh, she'll, she'll point her butt at the person who gave her the two dollars. Uh, for five dollars, she'll point her butt and slap it. So she'll point her butt at the person and slap it. For uh, ten dollars, she'll play with her boobs, lick her boobs, and uh, spit on her coochie. Or her cooter, as she said, I think. <laughs> uh, for twenty dollars, she'll get a, she'll give you a lap dance, uh, and then it then it then it fucking falls off the rails from there. For a hundred dollars, she'll take you to the VIP room in the back, slip into some lingerie, and then she'll staple her hands shut with a staple gun. And so Trevor's like, "What the fuck did you say?" <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. And she's like, "That's right." Like he said, "Why would you do that?" Like, "Cause you gave me a hundred dollars." Like, wait, wait, wait. So, he, so he realized that the whatever money she gets, she does something. So he's like, "Okay, so what do you do for seventy-five dollars?" And she said, uh, "For seventy-five dollars, she'll eat a whole fish, bones, skin, everything." <laughs> what? Yeah, she's weird, the stripper. So then she, uh, Trevor calls over Zach and Timmy to, to, for this weird thing. So they start talking to her. So he's like, what do you do for $7? And so she'll drink a whole a gallon of uh, milk through her asshole. <laughs> for 75 cents, she'll eat it. So she'll eat the 75 cents. Uh, for $304, she'll write you a speech on any subject you want. <laughs> That's hilarious. For $4.36, she'll go to the store with you. For four dollars and thirty-seven cents, she'll paint you a picture of a dolphin. For four dollars and thirty-eight cents, she'll get a uh, she'll give you a, a blowjob. And Trevor's like, there, there's that one. So you get a BJ for four thirty-eight. For a million dollars, she just says hamburgers. So I don't know what it is about. It. She, she doesn't tell you what it is, but she's like hamburgers. So then they leave. The skit's over. <laughs> but I got kind of. I know there's gonna. I think there's one more like in the later season. So, uh, with that, because that was one of the ones that actually caught. I was just random. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. I wish it would have been more like fucking like number stuff. <laughs> like for eight dollars and seventy two cents, what do you do? It's like I'll I'll, uh, I'll fist fight a donkey. <laughs> just the most random shit. Ever. Just the fact that she has not she has things for every fucking price range. You know, <laughs> it's wild. And some of it's affordable. Yeah, the blood job's only four thirty eight. There, there. I have a bonus one for episode uh, three. Uh, so Timmy, uh, so, uh, Trevor, Zach, so Trevor's playing the dad, mm -hmm. and, uh, by the way, in season two, they had more budget, so they actually dressed up more, like an actual, like, different character, and then just them themselves. So they're just a, a cheap wig? Yeah, and so Trevor's the dad, and, uh, by, by the way, Zach always fucking goes full out to whatever he's fucking doing. If he's playing a director, uh, if he's playing, uh, a, a woman, a, a drama teacher, whatever he's doing, he's just, he's that character. Like, he just, he just, like, melds into that character, and he's, so, like, Zach's gone, and that character's the real person. So he's, he's the, uh, the wife, 
and uh, they're getting ready for a dinner party with their guests. And Timmy's the son, and like for Timmy's easy, he just he just sat on his knee, he just stood on his knees to look shorter because the camera angle has the angle down for Timmy, angle up for the parents because we're looking up at them as the kid and we're looking down at Timmy as the child. I guess I'm learning more cinematography lately. Yeah. And uh, so Timmy's excited, like, hey, how about you put your, this painting up on your uh, on your fridge for the for the party? And it's it's clearly a dick. It's balls, wide balls, and a big dick with the head, right? And he says it's an elephant, but it's clearly a cock. <laughs> it's clearly a cock and balls with like a little one little eyeball that he put for the eye. And uh, at first they're like they're, they're confused as to what it is until he tells them it's an because they, they see clearly see a dick. You see a dick. So they're like, uh, what is it? Like, oh, it's an elephant. So they're like, okay. They try to convince him not to uh, leave it on the fridge, but I guess he guilts him into it. So he's like, all right. So Trevor's like, okay, here's what we'll do. Uh, you write elephant on there in big letters because if, if, if the customer, if the, well, not the customers, but if uh, the other guests see it, they're going to clearly know. And they think it's the first thought's going to be a dick and balls. So if he writes elephant, like, oh, they'll think it's an elephant. So he's like, great. He writes elephant. He even writes it backwards, like the backwards E. I don't know how he did it because there was nothing on that paper and then he wrote it. So he, he wrote that real quick if he actually wrote elephant backwards like a child would, yeah. all messed up. And so he puts it up on the fridge and then he's like, okay, can I also wrote, I also drew a uh, a, a fairy castle for the elephant. Can I put it up there on the wall too? And I get there, sure. They're like, all right, go ahead. And he pulls out this fucking picture and it's just a butt ass naked woman uh, spreading her fucking club, vagina cheeks, right? Her vagina lips yeah. and big to blonde hair and titties, right? And he's like, ha. Ah. And they, they're like, like the, the parents dropped this. Like, okay, so from what I get from the, the skit, Timmy is apparently a bad kid, and they know that. So every time they deal with him, they think he's up to something. So when he drew the dick, they're like, oh, it's gonna be doing something stupid. Like, and he said it was an elephant, right? Yeah. Because when he when he showed the woman the butt naked woman and said it was the ele- the 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 elephant's uh, fairy castle, he's uh-huh. like, we don't got time for your shit right now. Go to your fucking room. Because they immediately like <laughs> they, they knew. Yeah, like they, they immediately knew he was up to no good like usual. <laughs> like we got a tenor party to go to. You need to go up to your room right now. We don't have time for your shit right now, Timmy. Like when they that that line, we don't have time for your shit. That that told me like that's like years and years of dealing with it. In 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 what scene that you can just understand. Yeah. Like they they deal with him constantly, and he thought he was they thought he was doing something actually sincere, and they were fucking wrong. Because if you see the woman's picture, it's a it's just a naked woman, and then it just says fairy. <laughs> but it's, it's where the elephant's supposed to go. <laughs> it was such a weird thing. I mean, thing. he wasn't lying. <laughs> no, he wasn't lying, but uh, it wasn't a fairy castle. <laughs> that's, that's what she calls it. All right, so in episode four, we have something called uh, Forever Puppies. And uh, they're doing this PSA, this commercial, for this company called Forever Puppies. That uh, don't you hate it when your puppy gets older and starts being so cute and adorable? Like, we got the solution for you. Uh, bring your dog into uh, Forever Puppies and we'll replace your dog with uh, a Forever Puppy. So basically, they keep their puppies forever young, uh, and like it's they're clearly killing these dogs in the back. You can hear a dog whine, and then, <laughs> then a gunshot, and uh, so Timmy's like, uh, uh, they're, they're having like these customer testimonials about how good the the, the company is, Forever Puppies. And Timmy's like, uh, yeah, now that I have Forever Puppies, my dog stays young forever, and I get all the, and I'm knee deep, and it just cuts off right. And Timmy's just standing, looking looking dead at the camera. He says like, I'm knee deep. And pussy. Because <laughs> apparently he had a puppy for, like, and the puppy always got him laid yeah. with the women, right? But when the dog got older, it, it, it wasn't the same anymore. But now with forever puppies, I'm knee deep. <laughs> it's so random. <laughs> All right, last one is episode five of uh, season two. And uh, it's not so much funny as fucking just out there. So basically, it's Sam and uh, Trevor, and uh, they're in line. And they're wearing robes. They got these candles. They're clearly in a cult. And uh, Trevor's like, hey, uh, I think he called him Rick in the in the skit. He's, uh, Sam's called Rick. He's like, hey, Rick. Rick. He's like, yeah. Hey, have you been noticing how weird our uh, this group's been getting? <laughs> like, he, they're, they're saying how, like, they used to, like, at first it was matching shirts. Mm-hmm. And then it ended up with, like, Uzi training with guns. And, like, then the robes and the candle. And then they had to live on the compound and, like, cut off all communication with friends and family. And, like, like, we don't even play softball anymore, do we? Like, yeah, you're right, we don't. 
And like, so in between the talking of how weird the, the this little organ, this, this group that they joined has gotten, uh, they they do these random things. Like first, they stop at this other person standing in line, and uh, it's just a it's kind of like an alien mask. She's holding, I'm assuming it's a woman. I don't know why I assume it's a woman, but she's holding a glass, uh, uh, this glass, uh, like it looks like a glass, like a just a piece of broken glass, in one hand. Uh, Trevor kisses her on the cheek, grabs the blade. And then cuts her other left hand that's hanging, that's pulled out, like, palm out. And then he moves on. And then Sam does the same thing. So then they keep moving. Zach pops up wearing a hell baseball helmet, uh, red paint with a black line down the middle. He's like, I hear an alien's coming. And then uh, Trevor and Sam are supposed to say, like, uh, hope he's a nice guy. They hope he's got an army. I hope he don't die. And then he just walks off. And they're saying, like, yeah, like, the stuff like that is getting a little weird, don't you think? And they're just like they're just saying how weird they're, this group is. It's clearly a cult, like dead, like like a dead ringer for a cult. And uh, but they're like playing it off as being like two normal guys now too wrapped up in this organization to leave. And they said the reason it's gotten so weird is because Bill became the new uh, head prophet. And uh, they get to the end of the line, and uh, Tibby's like, uh, "Now to talk to the head prophet." And he pulls back the curtain. It's just a goat in a, in a top hat. Is the head prophet of the this cult? <laughs> it's such a surreal, like it's some of the some of the more surreal uh, uh, skits. Yeah, like another surreal one was season two, episode two, where Sam had this fucking uh, string stuck in his teeth, and he pulls out the string, and Darren's his uh, date. He's dressed up as a woman, and he's pulling on the string, and he pulls out one of his lungs, and like for like fucking eight minutes, like no, like three four minutes. He's pulling the string out and like he's pulling out his heart, his brain, his lungs, his kidney, right? And then he pulls out his soul and he just fucking dies right. <laughs> oh, it was such a random scene. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it for uh, the first five episodes of season two. Tune in next week for season two, episodes six through ten. I got a hair in my mouth. So you're talking about the string and now you got a hair. Yeah. Wait, what, that's probably what drew me to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there it is. Good. I like hairy women though, so go figure. Yeah, yeah. You gotta part the sea, <laughs> <laughs> part that fucking forest. <laughs>